Hey guys, welcome back to Conrad in the Making. I have all these books here to get ready for the MCAT. Picked them up a couple days ago. I was just going to give you a short video over what I got and what my plan of attack is to conquer this medical college admissions test. Let's get it! So I'm actually taking the MCAT a year from now, which is pretty far off, but in reality it's coming up quick. Some may think, you know, it's probably too early to study for the MCAT to, you know, give yourself a reasonable advantage in that, but honestly, I'm just going to take the time I have now. I have the books now. I just want to get acclimated to the test early and uh, you know, just try not to be surprised whenever I get closer to it. So maybe I can decrease some of my anxiety leading up to it. But yeah, I just want to show you what I got. It's a lot of stuff. I had a buddy that um gave it to me for a discounted price because he took the MCAT and used it and so yeah it's a lot but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get through it all right so the first one is the official guide to the MCAT exam uh, I think it's gonna be a good one because one it's actually written by the creators of the MCAT exam it's apparently the only official one so hopefully that helps also um, it has really good ideas over the format of the exam um, how it's scored, how the competencies work that it tests you over. And it has, you know, 120 questions, which are huge. You know, you always want to get your hands on more questions. So this is the first one. I actually started it yesterday just to kind of prepare myself for it. Second thing I got is this massive seven book uh, complete subject review by Kaplan. It's the 2015 version, which I think will still be, you know, mostly helpful because the MCAT exam changed 2015, but it hasn't really been edited since and probably won't be for a long time. So yeah, it comes with every section that's tested. You can see them right here. They've got the biochem, biology, physics, everything in there. There's also a really cool thing. You can barely see it right in the middle. And it's a quick sheets review, which gives a general overview of principles and concepts for each part tested. So there's a lot of information here. This one's gonna obviously be the bulk of my time. It's super heavy and it's kind of intimidating, but we're gonna get through it. So the third one, I kind of laughed when I saw this one because it just seems ridiculous. But you know, there's people out here that use it and probably a super helpful form. It's the Kaplan 520, MCAT 528 book, Advanced Prep for Advanced Students. It's designed to prep to score for really high scores. It actually says prep to score 528, the highest possible score on the MCAT 2015. So it's apparently designed to help students get into top medical programs. Um, it's got loads of questions in it. I think it really dives deep into the questions and how you really attack them on a smaller level, really focused in on them. I'm probably going to read this one last if I get to it. Um, it just seems such a crazy idea to try and score a perfect score on this kind of exam because it's just ridiculously hard. And so. I'm definitely going to read it and get through it because I have it. I want to use it and um, take advantage of it. But yeah, this will probably be the last one I use once I get through all the other stuff. The last thing I have is this little thing. It's just uh, MCAT flashcards. It comes with the app. It has a thousand flashcards and covers every section um, on the MCAT. And so uh, if you open it up here, they're all um, color coordinated. There's loads of them. Uh, I think I'm just going to kind of use it intermittently. We'll see though. And um, yeah, it's just something handy to have. It covers concepts, definitions that are gonna be critical to know for the test whenever it comes on that day. It is obviously a ton of material to get through, but this is why I'm starting early. Um, I hear that the number one mistake of students making is starting too late. You know, they're trying to get all these courses down and stuff, but I'm really gonna try and hammer it out. Um, I have plenty of time to get through it. I just need to be diligent and so, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot, but we're going to do it. And that's why I wanted to talk next about is my plan of attack, how I'm going to use these um, schedule-wise to kind of coordinate my, yeah, just the attack on the MCAT exam. Obviously, first, just like what, what I just said, I'm going to read this through and through, started it yesterday, just to kind of get acclimated to the exam, what to expect on test day, you know, how to help me practice so I can make it as realistic as possible. I probably won't work any of the practice questions yet because I really want to use those you know I only have so many questions original questions 
And so I'm not gonna work it yet until I really understand what each competency, how it's gonna test you. After I get through most of that, I'm going to tackle all seven of these books. I'm gonna start with the classes I've already had. For example, I haven't had biochemistry yet. That'll probably be the last one I get through. And I'll probably do that while I'm taking the course because it's gonna correlate close in time to when I'll take the exam. But I'll start with um, physics, biology, basic chemistry, things like that, and just go through each one so I understand what they're testing over, what the concepts I need to know to make sure to get through that section. I'll also go through the quick sheets at the same time, so I'm really just gonna, uh, yeah, get acclimated to the exam in general. It won't be until I think I understand the test well that I'll start to work some of these practice problems in this one and the other two books. Um, I really want to use that time wisely uh, time myself, find a quiet place to set up and just take it as if I were taking the test then. And so I want to use it wisely. I think once after that, I'm going to view my results. Um, obviously, there's going to be some sections that I score better on than others. On the ones I don't score so well on, I'm going to go back through here and really just hammer it down and review and review. And I'll probably just honestly rinse and repeat over and over that until I feel pretty confident over the general idea of the exam and the um, competencies, concepts, definitions that it covers. At the end, I'll probably try and go through this. Um, I'm sure there's some insights in here that really will help me, probably not to help me get a 528. If I scored that, that would just be the business. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go through this and see what I can get out of it. You know, it's tons of pages. Surely there's something in here that will help me out. And uh, yeah, just trying to really take advantage of it. Flashcards, there's a thousand of these, that's loads to get through. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna use them intermittently, really just like throughout the day whenever I have downtime. Like if I'll keep a packet with me, rubber banded in my pocket, you know, one section, and I'll run through it while I'm waiting in lines, waiting for class to start, just to kind of uh, get the overall idea. There's not really questions, practice questions on these flashcards, it's just concepts, definitions, but I really do want to get through all of them and just get a good foundation of uh, the knowledge that's going to be on there, what it's going to be testing. So I'll probably use that intermittently just throughout the year that I have to spend. But right now, I'm at ground zero for the MCAT exam. I just started reading one book. I've got like 20 to go, but I like to read, so I'm, I'm ready to get into it. I'm kind of intimidated by the exam in general because it's, it's not easy. It's going to be hard, probably the hardest one I've ever taken up to this point. And so, I really want to hammer it down, really want to just conquer it, use it as an opportunity to show the admission boards that, you know, I can do well in medical school, I can pass the boards once I get there. And so, I really want to take advantage of this opportunity, try not to look at it as an obstacle to get over, you know, um, really use it as positively as possible. Yeah, I just want to show you a quick video of what I got, um, it's going to be super helpful. Please subscribe. I'm going to continue uploading videos about you know what I learned from this MCAT material. I'll go through it with you guys. Uh, comment also if you're studying for the MCAT or if you took it. Let me know what strategies help for you, um, your general impressions of the MCAT exam, things like that. But yeah. Oh, and also big thanks and shout out to my wife. Sarah made these awesome pictures right here for you know just kind of a slightly new setup just to uh, change it up a bit but she's awesome super talented she crushed these if you can't tell what this is this is the hang loose sign but in um, x-rays obviously so yeah um, yeah keep the community guys study hard you can destroy the MCAT I'm hoping I do see you guys in the next one keep the community